Welcome back to accountancy class of intermediate or 11th class NCERT. So till now in cash books, we have seen two. We have discussed about two types of cash books. One is single column cash book and another one is double column or two column. Okay. As per your syllabus, you do not have triple column cash book, but triple column cash book will also be there in which cash column, bank column and discount column. Three will be mentioned. Uh, apart from those three, another cash book generally big organizations will maintain that cash book is known as petty cash book. Petty means what? What do you mean by petty? Small. Just petty. Oh, very good. Small, very, very small issues, small kinds of transactions. See, very big organizations, they, every day they will be involving in crores of rupees transactions. So small, small amount related transactions, they cannot write in journal entry again, posting in account means that is very difficult for them. So what they will do is in big organizations, head cashier will be there. He will take care of lakhs of rupees, crores of rupees or thousands of rupees worth business. And under him, another person will be appointed. That, that person is known as petty cashier. He will take care of all petty things. Means why I mentioned, you know, pencils, pens, erasers, sharpeners, like this way, or postal stamps. They are very minute amount for big organizations. So what they will do is petty cashier normally at the beginning of this if a month, he will take, let us take, for example, 2000 rupees or let us take, for example, 5000 rupees. So he, he will go on spending from that 5,000 rupees. Every now every day he will not go to the head cashier. Only when the amount is, let us take for example, substantially became low, amount became substantially low, he will again put forward a request to the head cashier to give him some amount. So he will see to it that at the end of every, 20, let us take for example, one month or 40 days, his balance, some amount is in his hands, around 5,000 rupees. Okay. Up to 4,000 or 3,500, he will go on spending. When the balance reaches minimum amount, that is 4,000, let us take for example. He will go again to the head cashier and he will again take 4,000 from him. So his total balance will be 5,000. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So this system is known as impressed system. Impressed system means, see, uh, in, in this example, in your textbook example, 2,000 rupees, if, uh, the petty cashier has taken from head cashier. And he has spent an amount of 1,780. Okay, only what is the balance in his hands? Only 220 rupees are there for the petty cashier. From 2,000, if you minus 1,780, it will be 220. So he will go to head cashier and again ask money. Sir, I already spent 1,780. Again, if you give 1,780, the balance in my hands will be 2,000. Likewise, he will request. So again, the head cashier will give him 1,780 and a total balance that is available to him will be 2,000. Did you understand? Yes, so sir. reimbursement will be made every weekly or fortnightly or monthly basis, depending on the payments. Okay, so that yes, around 2,000 will be in his hands after every 10 days or 15 days to 21 days he will check the balance and he will see to it that at around 2000 is in his hands okay so this the <laughs> system is known as impressed system the cashier who maintains petty amounts in a big organization is known as petty cashier okay so one example we will see this this you can do very easily this is the example given. You can see. Mr. Mohit, the petty cashier here, yes, is missing. It is not cashier, it is cashier. Huh? Of Messrs. Samaria traders received 2,000 rupees on 1st May 2017 from the head cashier. For the month, so for the entire month, the details of petty expenses are mentioned. You, you can see the petty expenses. The auto fare. 
కొరియర్ సర్వీసెస్ పోస్టల్ స్టాంప్స్ ఎరేజర్స్ షార్పనర్స్ పెన్సిల్స్ ప్యాడ్స్ స్పీడ్ ఫోర్స్ చార్జెస్ ట్యాక్సీ ఫేర్ రిఫ్రెష్మెంట్స్ ఆటో ఫేర్ లైక్ దిస్ సెవరల్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ ఆర్ మెన్షన్ సి హౌ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు రికార్డ్ ఐ విల్ షో యూ సి దిస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డ్రా ఓకే how you see amount received the first left side you will write amount received and here dates you will mention you will go on maintaining dates and particulars you you will categorize expenses onto into particular cash received auto fare so all transportation charges you will write under this auto fare okay you, you will mention under the heading conveyance conveyance means transportation charges okay courier services this courier services you will maintain under the heading postage telephone telegram charges you will maintain under this set okay stationery all whenever you purchase pencils pens you will mention here eraser sharpeners you will mention under stationery and other miscellaneous expenditure means refreshments so suppose any officer came any friend of the organization came you will offer him tea or coffee or chai biscuits or whatever it may be okay that that, that those expenses mentioned under miscellaneous so there is no hard and fast rule that only these headings should be there you can maintain any number of headings depending on the nature of the transaction okay at least three four Thank transactions you, you three four headings you maintain remaining ones you you can mention in so it's no hard and fast rule about this all these things okay uh, you you can categorize under any heads it, it, it need not be postage so all postage telephone telegram under a same head you can take it depends on you it depends on the discretionary power of you okay these headings uh, are left to us any number of headings we can keep under analysis of payments okay even very small amounts which do not fit under this category you have to take to miscellaneous category okay, okay see uh, let us take for example so here all the amounts that come under this column you will include here you will total it to here okay uh, postal stamps under postal stamps wherever uh, the same category amounts come you will have to mention the total of these this this will appear here like that you have to categorize you have to do it huh? you you try yes, to sir. solve one problem uh, very easy just any number of amounts will appear you you just prepare columns based on that you you are going to solve the problem see at the end of the day at the end of the month what you are going to do is you will total all this expenses amount this is 1487 came okay so the difference between yes. 2000 and 1487 you are going to find out the difference is 513 rupees yes sir okay so on this day on the last day what he will do he will go to the petty cashier will go to head cashier and he will ask him to give him only 1487 that's amount only the head cashier will give he will maintain petty cashier will maintain only 2000 rupees balance not more than that whatever amount that he has spent only that amount will be reimbursed by the head cashier so he started his transactions with 2000 so his balance will not going to be more than 2000 always maximum balance he is going to hold in his hand is 2000 did you understand yes sir yes sir any number of columns you can make and the total of these columns they, they they will appear here okay sir they will appear here sorry here see postage on third third date postage expenses 40 rupees on fourth date postal stamps 105 on sixth date postal speed post charges 98 registered postal charges on 12th date 42 courier services 40 these are all related to uh, courier postal related expenses so under postage yes. heading i have mentioned all the total you are going to write here okay telephone and telegram charges all these these two in this month two times telephone or telegram charges have been occurred by you you, you have re- incurred so 34 87 combinedly 121 it will give you are going to write here 
okay conveyance charges transportation charges see auto fare here then taxi fare uh, again auto fare again bus fare these are all related to transportation so our conveyance under this head you, you added see here also at the end also on 30th grade bus fare is there like this okay remaining all yes, you have like this okay did you yes did you understand yes sir understood understood no okay see uh, based on this one you keep this as an example and you solve one problem in your textbook okay okay sir very easy problem i don't think they will give in the examination normally petty cash book they will not give uh, very easily anybody can do only pro forma you have to remember there is no logicality in doing it in balancing it actually only expenses you are going to add and the balance you are going to do that sir whereas in cash books you have to understand where whether cash is coming to you or cash is going out of the organization like yes. logically think but here there is nothing to think logically only heads you are going to make and uh, under those heads you are going to add all the expenses you are going to balance it out uh, uh, yes understand see uh, this 11th 11th uh, problem you try petty cash book 156 page you open yes sir 11th problem see here also uh, petty cash you these terms you have to remember petty cash book petty cashier and they maintain books under impressed system impressed system means i mentioned no he, he yes, had a starting balance of 2000 1500 was spent by him 500 rupees is balance with him yes again in the beginning of the next month he will ask for 1500 rupees only not 2000 yes whatever amount that is spent by the petty cashier will be reimbursed by the head cashier did yes. you understand that is under yes, impressed that is under impressed system okay only 11th problem you do that's all eh? again after one hour yes. i will okay just a minute so in regarding of transactions till now we have seen journal entries then ledger preparation means ledger is a book of accounts okay that is a book of secondary entry journal is a book of primary entry ledger is a book of secondary entry okay then subsidiary books we have seen purchases book then sales book purchases returns sales returns journal proper okay like that we have seen and then at the end we have seen cash book preparation now yes. in the next chapter what we are going to learn is uh, we will learn about bank reconciliation statement see what do you mean by reconciliation let me introduce this uh, word first of all see uh, in the previous classes once i mentioned suppose i have to pay you 10000 rupees let us take for example okay i do not have a smartphone with me there is no phone pay or google pay or what you call paytm is not available paytm i am not involved in net banking i do not know those procedures with the smartphone i cannot operate any banking transactions at the same time i cannot come to you and i cannot pay you 10000 rupees physically because of covid or because of any other reason so what i will do is uh, i i cannot go to atm i cannot withdraw money so i request you or to come to my house or i will come to your house physically all atms are closed i cannot withdraw money okay so i will issue a check yes. and uh, see i issued a check on let us take for example first january in how many months you can withdraw that amount three months very good earlier in the, in my one of my classes i mentioned previously it was 6 months but now they read the bank yes, reduced it to 3 months only within 3 months you have to end cash now let us take for example uh, the concept of reconciliation i am mentioning you see i i issued you 10000 rupees worth check so immediately see you know no i am preparing triple column cash book in triple column cash book i mentioned you i informed you three columns are going to be there one yes. is cash column second one is bank column another one discount column is going to be yes. there yes okay. here also cash column bank column and discount column three columns are going to be there 
so now i issued you check means immediately what i will do on the credit side i will mention by yes sir by shivani i will mention 10000 rupees paid to shivani i will mention that's all but did uh, you what you are thinking is now money is not not required from me next month or up to march 31st the due date is there no so in the month of march last week i will encash you are thinking like that so immediately if i check my cash book bank column balance means it will be reduced by 10000 because i already deducted 10000 from my bank balance yes yes but if i if i go to bank in the month of february and check balance there will be a difference of 10000 between my bank balance and uh, the bank balance as told by the bankers because check is not presented to the banker so your balance your passbook balance will be more it will be showing more of 10000 rupees did you understand yes sir so you you have to make a reconciliation statement so why the difference exists what is the reason see suppose you are maintaining a very big organization some cheaters may be there in your organization they may cheat you for the amount of 10000 rupees you do not know similarly in a banks also you will have fraudsters some uh, now every now and then you will see in newspapers manager has a cheated so and so customer yes. or cashier has cheated so and so customer like that so you do not know how the 10000 rupees is missing so you have to prepare a bank reconciliation statement so reconciliation implies striking a balance what is the exact reason for the difference between your balance your maintained balance and bank maintained balance so that statement you are going to prepare only then you can know whether you are cheated or everything is fine with you or in the bank did you understand those statements yes, every uh, now and then you have to prepare for every 3 months or every 6 months okay see uh, like that so that statement is known as bank reconciliation statement in this chapter you have to think logically so that is why in the in the next class i will start this bank reconciliation statement okay okay sir.